sad news to the people of Tanzania after the police officers who abducted Tanzania opposition leader Mr. Ali Kibao is dead. That is the news we are receiving. The mother of the opposition leader is crying for justice. Let's watch this video. <laughs> That is what have happened and you have listened to the mother of the opposition leader. I want us to dig deep into this on our political discussion. And I have realized that most African leaders, they pretend and they have that spirit of dictatorship. They don't want any person to outshine them. It's, up, it's happening here in Kenya. It is happening even in Tanzania. It is happening even in Uganda. You saw what happened to, by the way, Bobby Wine. It is happening even to South Africa, here in Africa. As leaders, most of the head of states, they are the ones who are planning even the abduction, killing, using uh, police forces to anyone who, has, who is demonstrating or to anyone who is opposing them. That is their characteristic. And let us not fear to say this. Because they are all human beings. And the, the most essential thing that I am up with in this world is that God created each and every person and no one is paying life for one another. That is the first thing you must know. If you could have been paying life then I couldn't have been here. That today I wake up very early in the morning uh, having interest to deposit amount of money for me to breathe. Anyway, before I proceed with this discussion, ladies and gentlemen, may I take this golden chance to thank you so much for your genuine support in this broadcast. Because if it was not your support, then this channel could have not reached to where it is as of now. And if you are watching me for the first time, you've never subscribed to this YouTube channel, I request you kindly do me a favor, take a one second and click that notification bell and subscribe to our YouTube channel. In that next time, when I upload you such kind of a video, the video will automatically comes into your YouTube platform. Let me just go brief and read what happened to Mr. Ali Kibau and uh, until he was killed by Tanzania rogged police officers or unknown police officers, whichever they are, because that is wrong, taking someone's life earlier. I don't think if it is making sense at all. Let me just try to read what happened here. Mr. Ali Kibau. Abducted Tanzania opposition, opposition figure found dead. That is the news we are receiving. Found dead and you've even listened to the mother. It's very sad by the way. So traumatizing. And I assume you were one of them. So those who have killed him, assume you are one of them. Feeling the pain of killing someone. And even abducting someone. You don't know your death. You don't know how yours might come. Because obvious each and every person will die. Why do you kill someone who is just doing his own job? Every person have a right and freedom of expression in this world. As long as you have tongue. Abducted Tanzania opposition figure found dead. A Tanzania opposition figure Ali Mohamed Kibau who was abducted on Friday has been found dead. The main opposition party said on Sunday. 
Ali Mohamed Kibao, a member of Chadema's National Secretariat, was forced off as a bus at a gunpoint on Friday by a suspected security agent as he was traveling for the Ras Alam to the northern port city of Tanga, party officials said. His body was found in the Union Waterfront district of Dar es Salaam on Saturday night. The incident comes less than a month after Mbowe, his deputy Tundu Lisulu, Lisu and other Chadema leaders were briefly detained in a mass roundup ahead of a planned party youth event. Acid, acid poured on her face. The postmortem has been conducted, witnessed by Chadema lawyers and it was clear that Kibao was severely beaten and had acid poured on his face, Moe told reporters. We cannot allow our people to continue disappearing or being killed like this, he said. The lives of Chandema leaders are currently at risk. He said several other party officials had also gone missing without giving details. Kibao was a retired military intelligence officer who had worked with other opposition parties as well as the ruling Chama Chama Pinduzi, CCM, before joining Chadema, he said without giving a timeline. Deeply, deeply worrying sign. Police are yet to issue a statement about Kibao's death, although police spokesperson David Msime had said on Saturday that investigation had been launched into the report. Obvious, the, that is their character. Every now and then, investigation. Ogola had, had, had a plane crash. We were given three months. Today, no one is even ready to listen to that investigation. Several people have been killed. Quarry, tragedy, investigation. The person who was killed at the Treasury Administration, investigation. Today, if I'm being abducted by the police, kill, investigation. That is the nature of our leaders. And they know very well. They know how things are being done. This is very wrong. This is very wrong. I don't want to carry on because I want us to dig deep into this. What might be the factors why Mr. Ali Kibao have been killed, opposition leader in Tanzania? Number one, factor number one is that the truth of the matter, it was enemy to Samia Sulu's administration. The news you are receiving is that the police officers, the police officers are for Samia Sulu. So Samia Sulu administration must be aware of this evil-minded plan. That's number one. The second one, Mr. Ali Kibao was a threat to many politician head of state in Tanzania. And they, they, therefore, they, they built fear among themselves. And the result, you know, when you are a leader or president or even the, 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 the anyone, anyone who is in charge of security issues, you, 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 you intend to find who is this man, where he sleep, how he travel, what he's using, then the result you abduct him because of fear. Number three, African leaders don't like, don't li like being, said, being, being told the truth. They don't like the truth. Maybe this man was telling them, telling Tanzania administration the truth. And that is what they don't like. The world is evil. We are now treating our fellow human beings as a, a meat. As if there is no going to be tomorrow. As if the one mistreating all those who have killed Ali Kibao, they are going to be permanent in this world. Who told them? The only things which are permanent in this world are stone. 
and that is according to God's instruction. And mountains, that is beyond human deeds. Only God can overturn them and disappear with them. But anything being called mammal or warm-blooded must die according to God's instruction. Whether you will take 100 years, in fact nowadays it is not even 100, 98 you die. Simple. Some take it at 25, some take it at, some go at 30, 40. It depends on how you pray and ask God for protection in this life. I cannot ask my fellow human being for protection. That is what seems to happen here. But it is wrong. Even the constitution of Tanzania is not allowing this. Why do you kill? The Bible itself is not encouraging, do not kill, do not commit what? Murder. Those are the commandments which were given by Moses. And I mean, each and every leader must now copy them. But that is what they don't want to do. They only mind their own business and the result you've seen. The mother crying, no one is even bothering. They are just saying investigation. Investigation after the burial, deal is done. Aya, we are waiting for your turn. You can as well save this video. You are waiting for your turn. There's no one going to live forever in this world. However powerful you are, however uh, you are being protected by the choppers, whichever bombs, uh, and even, uh, I, don't, I don't want to describe it more, but it's very sad. And I condole with the family members of Tanzania. Ladies and gentlemen, that is the sad news we are receiving in Africa. I wish you all the best. Thank you so much.